welcome to Amiga Tech, the series in which I take a look at effects I've programmed for the Commodore Amiga line of computers. In today's episode, I'll be revisiting an old effect. I have updated the audio mixer with new features and higher performance. We'll take a look at that right now. The main difference between the two mixers is their performance. The old mixer took 5.3% CPU time to mix three channels together. The new mixer takes 3.2% CPU time to mix four channels together. This performance gain is achieved even though the output quality stays roughly similar. Here's version 1. Here's version 2. As you can see, the performance of the new version is much higher than that of the old version. This is because in the old version I added each sample one byte at a time. In the new version I take four bytes and act on all of them at once with a single addition. In other words, I went from a byte-based mixer to a longword-based mixer. This increases performance significantly as the 68000 spends a lot less time trying to get individual bytes from memory. Now, I can't take all the credit for this. The idea was not mine. I was in contact with several Amiga developers who wanted to use this mixer in their game. One of these developers had a discussion with me regarding the performance and pointed out that he knew someone who might be able to improve it. And that person was none other than Rhino of Batman Group fame. Yes, the CPC and Amiga demo coding experts who made various great demos on both the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore Amiga. His idea was to use long words. I had considered something similar myself when I originally made the mixer, but I had decided against it because I thought that this would lead to large amounts of distortion. However, thanks to some examples by Rhino, it became very clear that this method in fact does work and the performance isn't just improved, but the distortion is really limited. There is a little bit of extra distortion, but it's basically something you will not uh, notice. On top of that, I've also decided to change the features of the mixer a bit. Again, uh, this is due to having the discussion with Amiga game developers who actually want to use this mixer. The changes I made is the introduction of a priority-based sample playback system in which you give a sample that you choose to play back a priority and it will only play if a free channel is available or a, un a used channel is of lower priority than the sample you're trying to play right now. The other thing I added was that the old mixer always played an entire sample before it started playing a new sample. I've removed that restriction, samples can now be overwritten. This has the effect of making the amount of sounds that appear to be played back increase. You can hear this if you have a game which uh, involves large amounts of shooting sounds. You normally play one sample at a time, but with this particular mixer a variation, you can actually play back a ton of samples, one after the other, and you'll just hear parts of the sample. This sounds much better than you might think, and is one of the key features of making the new mixer sound better than it did before. Now, I have updated my website with this new version of the mixer, with the source code and an ADF file to download, as well as an LHA file, so you can look at that and see for yourself how much better or worse you think this new mixer is. The website has also been updated to show the exact performance characteristics of each of the new versions of the mixer. I know it's been a long time since I've been active on YouTube, but I hope to do more this year than I did in the previous year, and I hope you'll be part of that as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and bye-bye.